what did I get up to in my sewing room? And is this block a raspberry, a bunch of grapes, or something else? Stay tuned to find out. First thing I want to share with you is my works in progress, and I had a lot of fun this week. I got quite a bit done, and one of the first works of progress I want to show you is the November gnome from last year. I bought a few of these earlier in the year to put together if I had a spare few moments, and I've got about half of this done. I love the different batiks in it, the oranges, the blacks, the grey, not the greys, yellows, browns, and so forth there. So I've had a lot of fun putting this together. I'm going to do this when I need something fairly easy and straightforward to put together because it's all pre-cut, which I absolutely love. And then I also went ahead and put together a couple of the produce section by Elizabeth Hartman blocks together. I've been working on this project on and off, and I've got about nine of the blocks done so far. But the ones I made this week was the kiwi fruit, and I love how this turned out. This is just all scraps from my stash. And I just love how this turned out. I think the colors are perfect for a kiwi fruit. And then this one here is where the big debate is. It says it's supposed to be a raspberry, but when my wife looked at it, it looks like a bunch of grapes. And now that I've looked at it that way, I can't see it. So let me know in the comments if you think this is supposed to be a raspberry, blackberry, snozberry, boysenberry, some other sort of berry, or as my wife thinks, and now that I do too. A bunch of grapes. I'd love to hear in the comments what your thought is so we can settle this once and for all. It's a produce section quilt, so I mean, I don't think it really matters at the end of the day, but I'd love to hear your comments. So that's what I have from a works in progress. We have a lot more to share with you later on in the episode, including some finished objects. But before we do that, let's move on to our week in review. And for anyone that's new, my name is Sean, and I'm so glad you're here with us. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Um, but the week in review is just a series of videos to take during the week. Most of me sewing, but also of any adventures we get up to, so I hope you enjoy. Last week I asked everybody if they have a recipient in mind before they start a quilt or if they start making a quilt and then figure out a home for it later on. It was so fun reading all the responses. There was a nice mix. Some have recipients in mind, especially if it's grandkids or great grandkids and that sort of thing there. And some people just are kind of like me and find a pattern and then figure out a home for it later on. This week I thought it'd be fun to ask what notion would you immediately go out and replace if it broke or stopped functioning? We'll take the sewing machines and that sort of thing out of the equation. And I'm sure a lot of you are laughing and chuckling right now because you are expecting me to say Jack the Ripper. I have like five of these floating around. So if one of these breaks, I have like four replacements. I'm not silly. Well, not in that respect. My answer for this question would have to be this particular ruler. This is the one I use for trimming my binding. I also use it for trimming all of my stitch and flip blocks, which is fairly common in the Elizabeth Hartman and the Artlies that I love so much. So let me know in the comments, what notion would you immediately go out and grab if it had suddenly broke or the dog chewed it or something like that? So now it is time to talk about my goals for this week, and I want to make them fairly simple. I think the first thing I'd like to do is put some more work on the Wizard of Oz. We made these blocks a few weeks ago, um, and I have not put much love into it since, but that's okay. And to answer the question that we were talking about last week, whether most people did like the red hearts, but I'm going to do a mix of the red and the pink, so this could be four, four red, 
for pink in the final design. I think it's been nice to have that nice little mix. And then the other thing I'd love to work on is putting the Cheshire Cat together. I have finally made, cut out all the pieces in this wonderful little bucket. So many pieces, but I do enjoy making these. So hopefully we'll get a start on that this week and I'll be able to show you a progress update on that next week. Let me know what your goals are for this week. So now it is time for our news and events, and I had a couple of videos come out this week. The first one was Clue 2 of the Wild West Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Card and Cuts. I had so much fun putting this block together. It was fairly straightforward for me. I love the colorway that was picked for me by my friend Amber over at So Majestic, and it's just been a lot of fun, and I put the time lapse out bright and early Friday morning for anyone that needed help with that. If you missed it, go over and check it out. It was a lot of fun. It all comes together in just a few minutes. Yesterday morning I had my friend Fallon from So Be It Quilts join me on a live. We got to hang out for about 90 minutes. It's always fun hanging out with my friend Fallon. If you missed that live, go back and check it out. We had a lot of fun. We had some great discussions about all sorts of different topics. And that was a lot of fun there. This week I'd love to get maybe another time lapse out of it all possible. And then this Saturday morning I'm excited to have my friend Danny from So Not An Expert come over and hang out with me for a little while while we sew together some of the puzzle and mystery quilt. Clues. I think we'll start off with clue two because um, I still have one of those to do. And if I finish that, maybe we'll duck over and do clue eight of the um, what's it called? The Tree of Life one. I can never ever ever remember that name. So come join me Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Be a lot of fun. You don't want to miss it. And now it is talk, time to talk about our finished objects. And the first one I want to show you is clue two of the Wild West Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Cotton Cuts. This one's been a lot of fun. I'm doing the Tombstone colorway, which is a mix of browns creams and black and I love this one here I think this has turned out really really nice it looks a little different to the clues I've done in the past so I think it's gonna be a nice fun design that's gonna be different to what we've seen in the past I think um, Sheila's done a really good job with this and then this is the second block I'm having I'm having so much fun with this this is not a colorway I would have picked for myself but I'm so glad Amber um, took me out of my comfort zone and um, encourage me to try something a little bit different. I do have one other finish object to show you, um, which is already gone, but I recorded this yesterday, so that way you can see what's going on. Earlier today, I dropped off two items to the state fair. The first one you've seen several times on here before. It's my snippets quilt. I think it turned out beautifully. I even hand-stitched the hanging sleeve on the back, which I'm super proud of, and I even stitched on the back of the mitre corners, because that's something the judges are looking at. The second item I am entering is actually in the sewing section and it is a pillowcase dress or one of the dresser girl dresses that I made quite a while ago with my friend Donna over at Handmade by Ying. And I thought, you know what, let's put this into the fair and just see what happens. It may get a ribbon, it may not, but I figured why not put it in and see what happens. We'll find out the results for the state fair in roughly a month and as soon as I do I'll definitely let you know. Before I go, I did just want to um, answer a few questions that people have been asking me over the last couple of weeks about the exchange students. We are hosting two girls this year, one from Denmark, one from Germany. Um, they've been here for one and two weeks respectively, and they are getting along famously. They're doing really well. We love having the two girls here together, and we're just you know, so blessed to have them here with us. So um, with that, that concludes today's episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely hit that like button tell a friend and i always love hearing comments from my viewers i hope you'll have a great day happy sewing rowena says hi and we'll see you all next time happy sewing bye